that's the room, and that's uh, the crucifix. That's the symbol of the Spitali. Uh, so one of the many places uh, of uh, Cortona where they used to host uh, the pilgrims. And uh, you see this wall. This wall has been interrupted 85 years ago. But behind there are more doors. All of them are with the crucifix because this part probably, this part of the building probably, probably was a convent. So, and uh, who was the people donating free space to the pilgrims? The monks or the nuns? So, this place was uh, one of them. And if you look uh, at the end, uh, at the end of uh, the room, you can see a, a little tiny window, which is not a window, but is a little tabernacle where they used to put a crucifix, a crucifix as well, or a little uh, image of a uh, Virgin Mary, probably. When I dug out this place, uh, I found a big, a huge jar, olive jar, buried in the, in the floor, in the ground. This was, this was, I don't know if you like to hear that, but because this, uh, this was a spitale, but it was also a stable. A stable where pilgrims used to spend time also with their, their horses or donkeys, donkeys, you know, because in the winter to keep themselves warm, they have to sleep nearby them, near the beast, you know. <laughs> and so the big jar buried under was the collect the, to collect the urine, the, the, the pee of the animals, you know. So that's how it used to work. <laughs> and we are talking about Middle Age, that's why these things happen maybe that today to us uh, they look uh, curious and maybe something a little bit gross but it was like that you know um, I would like to talk uh, as well I would like to talk as well about uh, this street and why this street is being closed this street is being closed because uh, 85 years ago somebody was killed here a murder happened and uh, they decide to interrupt the street probably because it was too dark too dangerous Okay, and uh, this street, uh, it's called uh, Ali Oven of Death. Oven because there used to be a pastry, a baker, right here. And I have the machines inside here, the biscotti machine that I'm going to show you. And that's why they, they name it, they call it uh, Ali Oven of Death. Okay, let's go inside, I'll show you. That's a biscotti machine, a very old one. It is probably 150 years old. See? Now I'm going to show you. Okay. Here there used to be a, a wheel with a handle, like this. And this it, uh, has a piston inside, uh, where they used to put the dough inside, and then decide which shape of biscuit they want to do it. See? A different shape. So, there used to be many different, many different shapes for making biscuits. Then they choose one of them, they put it right here, and then they close. And they can, they can have the, the shape of the biscuit, the biscuit they like. So then for sure there was a, a second person that used, to cut, that used to cut the dough coming out, probably with a platter, cutting with, or with a knife, or probably with the scissors and display them on top of a platter that used to go in the oven. In the oven which was above here, just right above our head. The other one, over there, it's another machine which used to grind the almonds to make the, the paste of almonds. And then after that they, they used to mix it with some sugar, cho chocolate or vanilla and make different flavors. Okay. I would like to show you, I would like to show you uh, the old part, all those shops start, the old shop start from, from, from this room. That's one. Okay. Talking again about the room downstairs, uh, we, just, we just came up, but uh, the room downstairs uh, to became the uh, the storage for the wood, for the prayer and the wood, that uh, the pastry, the baker, used to uh, use to lit the oven. The oven was displayed in that room that today is my my workshop where I frame and when I do all my work. And 
it. Uh, this room used to be used to be the laboratory, the place where they do uh, the pastry. You see, the croissant and the almond biscuits. They used to be done with the machine that I show you downstairs. Here, there used to be a little fireplace, a little place where they. Because I, I forgot to tell you, I, I met the the nephew of the pastry of the baker, and he told me that he used to fry like a donuts, you know, right in this corner. We call it bomboloni. We call it bomboloni. Bomboloni with a hole, a circle is called ciambella. The one, uh, the other one is called bombolone and has a cream inside, fresh milk, fresh cream. So very good, believe me. <laughs> so this was the place where he, as well, the the nephew of the, the baker, uh, used to work, and he told me that here was the corner for the bomboloni. Okay. When I bought it, when I bought it, and the oven was back there. When I bought it, this it was completely changed. This used to be uh, the laboratory for cut the meat, to cut the meat, you know. It was all covered by white tiles. In there, there was, used to be a uh, two big fridge to keep the quarters of uh, cow or pig. And above us, instead, the perfume shop used to be a, a, a market, a food market. So he went, he went, uh, I don't like to talk about this because uh, it's a bad story. So, so this is today my, my workshop, but uh, used to be a big oven right here and they used to cook uh, the pastry right there. Buongiorno a tutti voi, sono Ivan e un ciao bella.